Most, if not all, companies need to engage in strategic change to drive sustainable competitive advantage and long-term organizational survival. It is obvious that time, however it's defined, is central to any kind of strategic change, or any kind of change for that matter. Sometimes time is explicitly recognized in the extant studies, sometimes it is hidden. We thought it is time to explore this. We identified three broad categories of time and strategic change research. One, conceptions of time and strategic change. Two, time and strategic change activities. And three, time and strategic change agents. One, varying conceptions of time and strategic change, including studies focus on clock time, event time, and life cycles. Two, time and strategic change activities, including the study's focus on either single or multiple strategic changes along with the roles of diverse temporal elements, including sequence, disruptive events, timing, pacing, duration, frequency, and rhythm. And three, time and strategic change agents, including their perception of time in terms of urgency, temporal focus, and temporal depth, and the ways they enact temporal dimensions by means of pacing and monophony versus polyphony. But it's amazing how little and how inadequately time and its many dimensions have been addressed in strategic change empirical research. The ways that time is discussed are too narrow. Scholars seem to assume that everyone else is operating out of their own version of time. But there are lots more dimensions of time than are typically acknowledged. And not noticing these gets in the way of understanding multiple dimensions of strategic change processes and what leads to success in it. For example, on an overall level time regarding strategic change scholars and managers may operate out of clock time, event time, or life cycle time. And these aren't the same. Both scholars and managers only paying attention to one of these are losing out on understanding and appreciating how the other temporal dimensions are present. When it comes to activities, time includes sequence, timing, pacing, duration, frequency, and rhythm, including entrainment. But most scholars focus on sequence, maybe a little about speed. That means we are missing out on understanding a lot about how activities need to be related to each other, and that speed isn't all there is. How silly of them. Not only that, strategic actors, including CEOs and TMTs, have their own personal temporal characteristics, different amounts of urgency, temporal focus, temporal depth, and different pacing styles and varying amounts of polychronicity. Dear listener, did you know that? Did you know that you have a particular depth or focus and that you are more or less able to do multiple things at once? That all affects how well you conduct strategic change. So listen up. Fortunately, we give a whole lot of pathways to future research that will help you deal with all this complexity that you've just discovered. Is this going too fast for you? Read our paper. Take all the time you need.